Okay, 2010, good luck. We've not played before, no head to head score. 500 games for my opponent in Rapid. I've done 150 odd. Um, how do we want to do this? I'm going to go C4. I'm going to go G3 and just develop. Try and get castled. Oh, he launches one forward, so I could allow the pawn to come forward potentially. I can drop back, then the pawn might be difficult to defend if you push it too far. Mm, no, I can do this and this, or I can just do this. So which do I want to do it? Here to go here might encourage the pawn forward. I think I like this more than this. I'm going to go here. I can still drop the knight back if needed, but I'm going to try and launch in the centre. Just challenge this structure. Okay, it comes down, so I need to break that pin, otherwise there is a threat there. Hmm, how do we do this? There's no tricks at all. I, think I could play a holding move first, but I think I favour just queen up. So queen up, knight down, queen back. There's no bishop back to trap the queen. I could go here, actually, to hit the pawn. Now let's do that. Let's break the pin with a threat to the pawn, but I still want to try and just basically break out in the centre here, but I might do d3, because there's pressure on the knight, I might just go really slow and steady does it, but if I do d3 then knight and there is a threat to the pawn then, so queen across, so you might want to play bishop down as well, so what if I just launch one now, take, 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 maybe knight forward somewhere, just a temporary pawn sack, Ah, but if I launch one, if he takes, I take, pawn takes, it could be a permanent pawn loss actually. I think I'm going to play knight forward then and challenge these pieces and see what he does. Let's just go for a mixed, slightly mixed up structure. Try and break symmetry, hope I'm not blundering somewhere. If knight hits the queen, I have a check. The bishop can come back and I can drop back. So... We can get rid of his bishop. Hmm. Yeah, I think we better get rid of the bishop. And now maybe try and push in the centre. Well, he's not controlling it quite so well. So push, takes, 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 takes. That seems fine to me. <coughs> I think he's probably more wanting to play a move like bishop down to get rid of the defending bishop rather than the knight. Just click anywhere and it gets rid of the markings. Oh, he's taken the pawn up here, so I will take back. I would maybe expect a pawn push here, but let's just see. Knight back runs into a bishop pin though, so that's a bit nasty. Knight forward across, I'm not sure. Knight back, oh he does take, yeah. Now I could go with the queen then, I'm attacking the pawn. Oh, if I take with a bishop, I'm attacking anyway, aren't I? So if I go with the queen, it might encourage down. It loosens this pawn, so I'm just going to go with a bishop and hit the pawn. So here, so I think we just drop back and hope that we can keep this structure. Bishop up, rook across. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe bishop right up here. This pawn is loose now, though. So bishop up, knight takes, queen back. We attack the knight, check, takes, 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 it opens things up, but it's a little bit risky. Might be good, I don't want to burn all the clock. Rook across the defender, it still leaves us, I guess. Bishop up if he doesn't take, say knight back, I think he's fine, isn't he? I'm just going to go up here for now and connect the rooks and try and get the rooks centralised. Maybe even push a pawn here. Oh, I've just blundered a pawn hover, potentially. Maybe I can go forward, I guess. Let's just go forward and hit this pawn. Knight takes. Maybe I pin the knight. Ah, but then he's got pawn down. That's a problem. Yeah, and maybe I should have gone here. I'll just overlook that. Knight takes here down. I do have pawn up. 
queen takes, I can maybe grab a pawn. Oh, actually, no, queen takes, I just take the knight. So he's played queen up to defend. So now I've got the option for pawn up, which seems sensible to me. And then a move like bishop up. So I'm going to go here now to just cement this. Now bishop up or bishop up. Either square looks like it puts pressure on. If I hit the knight, I'm undermining this pawn potentially. Ooh. So now I'm looking at this move. If the knight moves, I grab a pawn. And if you don't, I'm threatening to take. I think bishop up feels sensible to me. I don't know if it is, but it feels like it is. And I want to try and get the rooks into the centre at some point, but as this pawn could be a little bit of a problem. So maybe this one here, this one to either of the centre. Let's see what he does with this knight. Does he move it? Does he defend it? Has he got a better move? Across, takes. Sorry, takes, then bishop takes. Then a move like rook across the bishop and the pawn are coming under attack. So it might be nothing. So he's played knight back, okay. So I guess I drop the queen back here. With a view to possibly going forward. Again, it's the same issue here. If he defends, I can take, take, but then I can take and I hit the knight as well, I think. So I think he's gone wrong. I think he has. Here, here, take. If queen here, trade, trade, I take the rook. So here, here, take. What if knight takes? He's threatening to win my queen. Maybe he hasn't quite gone wrong. Knight down is a problem. So I'm just going to play the gentle rook across first. If I do this, it gives him a nice square here. Okay, again, I've still got the option. Take, take, can't I just grab a pawn now? I'm going to do it now. I think I can try and grab the pawn now. I might be wrong. Oh, he's taken with the pawn. I did not expect that one little bit. So he might have to do this now. I'm going to risk maybe f3. Because king's position is going to get open here, so I'm going to play f3. Yeah, we both lost about half our time, or not far off half of our time. He might have to even push in the centre. I don't want to play that myself and give the knight a great square. That's what he's done. So if I take now... Knight across he's still got. Hmm. How do we do this? I'm going to take. I assume he'll go with this pawn. If pawn up he's still got knight down. But the check could be a nuisance. But it could be a nice pawn that I'm pushing forward. This is a target. I like the look actually of just rook across. Try and play simple chess, hit the pawn. It could easily go wrong this position for me though. And most, pretty much the whole game, I've been that little bit down on the clock. But I do have a bishop up potential move here to attack, but I guess if he moves the queen somewhere, the knight can go back and defend as well. Let's just see how he plays it, and then worry about our own move. Right, we're level on the clock now. He's really opened his king's defences up, though, so that's one potential we've got. The king's got a missing pawn there. Now he's gone across, but now surely bishop up. This is still defended. Rook across, I can still push, and I'm threatening to take. That was my idea. So I'm going to play it and hit the pawn and hit the diagonal. Rook across, he's got three attacking. Maybe I can just ignore and take straight away, but he would have the knight check, wouldn't he? So he has gone back, but now can I just push then? With a view to a move like queen up. I thought I could. So push. Knight takes. Knight takes might be the move. So queen across first, threatening a check looks good. 
So get the queen out the line. Two still defend the pawn. Now I am threatening to push and there's no knight takes. I may be threatening to take this pawn simply as well. If takes are take. And a pawn is a pawn. So there is a threat on the board. I'll just click my little heater off there. So how does he do this again? Let opponent worry about their move, then worry about ours. So I do have a pawn. He might not have seen that. He's seen the check threat, but I can simply grab a pawn here. Take, take here. Has he actually got rook across? Gain a pawn, lose a queen. Gain a queen. Rook across. But my rook guards my pawn, so the bishop can come back somewhere, and I'm a clean pawn up. And his extra pawn coming over won't be easy to defend. So I'm just going to take it. <coughs> he might be able to defend the pawn. It might be a very dangerous pawn, but it feels like a good move. So I'm playing it. If it goes right, it goes wrong. But yeah going to be difficult to actually get to the king the knight and the rook can block and become big giant powerful pawns so a move like rook up and across isn't an immediate threat you know pre-move in case he takes the queen and i'll take the queen back so he has indeed so what i want now is a move like bishop here to stop him pushing the pawn up so that was my intended move. Then he can't play f5 to support his pawn, and I'm threatening to simply take the pawn. So I'm going to do that. I'll pre-move in case he takes. If he doubles the rook up, I can go here, I think. See, there is a move like this coming. So he's actually going to support his pawn. So I think king up makes sense here. Try and get behind his pawn and just get the extra rook in, and then run my pawn up if I can. Okay, he's attacked my pawn, so I will protect it by pushing it. So I've got a backward pawn here. Okay, he's pushed. Um, generally, you want to be behind the pawn to stop it pushing. I can always free up a rook to go here, or guard and threaten to take at the same time. Still push this one and threaten to simply run it down the board. Oh, that gives me rook here to target this one as well. That feels like a mistake. Now he's probably going to have to do this now. And then I've got rook coming up to threaten to win this pawn. That's what he's done. Anything better like rook across? I don't think so. Rook up, rook across I think is a move. Maybe I just simply challenge that. Um, rook up, rook across, take, 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 check. Feels alright, doesn't it? But I can't really stop that unless I go here. Rook up, across, here, rook down. Challenge. Feels good to me. I think pawn up if he comes across. Again, we're down to three minutes now. Okay, he's gone right across there, so can't I just simply push up here now? Get tempo on the rook. Or I can do this and try and triple stack this way, actually, potentially. But I want to push the pawn now, get it forward, and threaten to push again. Hmm. Maybe even rook across to target the outer pawn. So he's done that, so rook down was what I was originally looking at. If he goes here... Right, so here I don't like, but I could maybe push here. If I go here, he just pushes. Now what about this rook up then? And then he can't avoid trading one, can he? So this should be good for me. I'm, at, I'm off a pawn, so this should be good for me. I think it forced the rook off the board, and then my rook should win the other pawn. And I've got a protected pass pawn. So rook down, I don't see how he defends it. Here now I just simply take, so here, and we collect. There'll be two pawns up, I don't think you can afford to trade the rook.
You can just click anywhere and it clears the markings. So he has played king forward, so I'm going to collect the pawn. I don't think he can afford to trade because of this passed pawn. So he'll have to move his rook somewhere, and then I need to stop his king getting in. Yeah, he's moved the rook, so now it feels like I should do this and just keep my rook guarding the pawn. So I'm going to come here and try and push my pawns. Right, now I'm threatening to push and then push here, which I can now do. He can't step here. He can chuck forward, I think I can gladly trade. But I'm only one move off starting to run both pawns down the board. So we push. Oops. Be careful about pre-moves just in case I push forward there. Okay, I'm going to gladly take that one. Um, where do we want to go here? I think I just dropped the rook right back. So I've got the option to come behind if needed. And I'm just going to start marching forward. This one firstly can't take. Okay, now I go here and then up. It's all about getting a new queen now, I think. These two are not quite so important as long as I can get a queen. It does give me the option of rook up now, though. Oh, yeah, that hits both of them. So that allows me to hit both pawns. So this should be winning now. I'm up a minute on the clock, a minute and a half. So we go forward. So we take this one. Now we look for this one. Okay, we just step up and we're near a new queen. Um, I think we just come here and cut his king off at least initially. Rook down is a threat. Um, let's go here, hit the pawn. Okay, drop back, took the king away, collect the pawn next move. So I collect the pawn and get the rook out of the way. And I took the king away and run up and hopefully get a new queen. Now I could go here, but it feels a bit unnecessary. I can zigzag back this way as well. Well, it feels clean enough actually, doesn't it? Just attack the rook and the push. I just have to avoid stalemates, I think. Now that's a very good win. Excellent.